It's your backyard, Jay here. Uh, what's going on, guys? I wasn't gonna make uh, really anything out of anything out of this uh, whole eating better sort of thing, but uh, it just seems to be pretty easy. <laughs> make a quick 10-minute video, and uh, away we go. But uh, anyways, uh, routine was the same all day today. Uh, you seen what I made for dinner last night? Um, I weighed in this morning at 236.6, which was awesome. Um, so not bad. I uh, just got home from work, haven't changed yet as you can see, still kind of in my, my shop clothes. But uh, just about to start dinner here and uh, as I get it started I'm going to run and jump in the shower and uh, you know, get cleaned up sort of thing. So anyways, um, let me show you what's going on for dinner tonight. What I have, da 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 da, two chicken titties. Now these are still bone in just because they're cheaper but they are skimless so it's only basically five bucks for two of these so that's not bad. Uh, I put the garlic and onion powder on them you know zero calorie with a bunch of water in the frying pan and the point of that is to kinda boil them on a lower kinda heat and get them more solid um, that way there's not much frying going on and I'll show you why you don't want a lot of frying because I got these California style vegetables that's what they are, just frozen uh, what I do with these is put them on a cooking tray or a cooking sheet with some foil and put them in the oven for a bit and get the water out of them so they're not so soggy because they, they're frozen but uh, anyways and then these kind of boil up uh, I flip them a couple times just let them boil in that uh, garlicky oniony water uh, and then I put them on the cutting board cut the bones out and then slice them in the strips bits sort of thing uh, and then eventually I throw everything into a, a wok and make a nice a real nice uh, kinda homemade stir fry out of it it's pretty much homemade I mean I didn't want to cut the fucking vegetables cause fuck cutting vegetables so not a lot of seasoning or anything goes in this stuff either it's uh, pretty simple pretty easy um, anybody can do it um, and the whole goal is uh, just trying to have more of a, I guess, a, a schedule or a routine. Um, kind of keep calories down. Like I said, you know, obviously beer was a huge part. Had to have been because uh, how do you go from you know an average weight of two forty five to uh, my morning weigh in was two uh, two thirty six. So I'd say two thirty eight, two thirty nine. So how do you drop that much and and you know, only a week sort of thing, and uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, can already kind of feel it. I don't want to say that I really feel it, but uh, I kind of already feel it. I got a little more energy. I feel a little better, um, and my my feet and my knees don't hurt so much. <laughs> In the morning, I'd get out of bed, and as soon as my feet touched the ground, it felt like somebody was just taking a fucking sledgehammer to them. It sucked. But uh, it's still there, just uh, it doesn't seem as bad. So that's pretty cool, anyways. Uh, just rocking a, a Ryan Ginger. The uh, the pop has the calories in it. The the rye doesn't. Um, I don't want to cut uh, drinking completely out of my diet because uh, you know, let's face it, everybody likes a drink, right? So look at the fucking lighting in here. There we go. That's not so bad. But then you got the you got that one there. You got that that light right there. Really frigs the camera up. I can go like that on a stupid angle, and then I look like an idiot. But anyway, anyway. Um, so basically, I kind of got the chicken set up now um, with the seasoning on it. If you can even call it seasoning, it's not really seasoning. But whatever. Um, so that's kind of gonna really slowly kind of boil, cook, um, and I'm gonna go and. Uh, do my nighttime stuff, shower and all that stuff, and then uh, I'll uh, get back to this uh, real shortly. Alrighty, guys. The past has dwelled on the 500 SL, the E and J and ginger ale. The way my pocket swell shook the rim with Benjamin. Another hunt in the crib, she's in the game. Well, <laughs> you guys probably didn't have me pegged as uh, somebody who enjoys rap music. Uh, I really don't. Um, however, the Notorious B.I.G. 
Uh, big fan, always have been, but uh, that's about it. That's pretty much where the line is drawn and done. Anyway, here we go, I'll show you what's going on. <clears throat> Here's the chicken titties. Now they're not cooked all the way through, that's just fine for what we're doing. Perfect, as you can tell my wardrobe's changed a little bit. <laughs> so we're all good. So now basically I'm going to take these out, turn it off, take these out one at a time, put them on the cutting board, cut them into strips and bits and whatnot. Uh, pan gets washed and uh, those got to go on a foil and go on the oven, or go in the oven. So let me do all that and then I'll show you what that all looks like. Alright, you got the chicken all cut off uh, the boned chicken titties. Anyway, here it is. That's what it all looks like. All kind of smashed together. Uh, I got just a little bit of olive oil in there, about maybe a tablespoon worth. And here it is. Some of it's still a little raw. Some of it's kind of cooked. But uh, again, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, I give it a little little dash of uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce which is one calorie per five milliliters and there's maybe half a milli milliliter in that um, so there we go mix it all around we'll let that uh, kind of cook up and I also put a small just a little dash of uh, soy sauce in there that's what I use in, in place of sodium so salt um, I think it wasn't much either it was uh, the hell is it worth? Calories. Five calories per tablespoon. So there's not even a teaspoon in there. So that's all good and then it's all chicken. So good for you. So anyways that cooks on about a medium heat. Um, that'll probably sit in there for about eh, probably 20 minutes on medium heat. Um, or maybe 15 and then I'll crank it up uh, almost a max uh, nearing the end. But uh, before it's actually fried, that's where the vegetables come in. You can see those steaming away in the oven there. Oh, great. There goes the lens. Lens is fucked now, boys. Now the lens is decked out. We're all good now. So the vegetables go in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. That's pretty good. Of course, if you have fresh vegetables and you cut them by hand, you don't need to do that. Just the frozen ones, but uh, anyways, I'll keep you updated. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, we'll just uh, pause that because you two don't like that kind. But anyways, here's what we got now. Got uh, our chicken just slightly browning on some bits, so that's good. Uh, there's vegetables out of the oven, and what I'm going to do now is dump them into there. However, I don't know if I can do that and hold the camera at the same time, but I will try. I got it, uh... Yeah, it's not going to work. It's going to fall. Alright, give me a sec. Pretty decent. Just like that, I'm going to keep mixing it and uh, just finish this off. We're going to turn this up now a little bit. And I'll fry it and I'll show you the finished product. I need two hands because I'm sliding off the burner and everything here. Alrighty, here's the finished product. I uh, just kind of remembered that I had some mushrooms in the fridge. Here's a piece of one that uh, I completely forgot about and they were going to they're gonna go bad in the next few days so I figured I'd throw them in there while I was frying it up anyways that's the end of it um, nothing exciting about it here's a here's a one out of the pan mushroom that's good see I don't like them soggy I like them hot but crunchy so you're good but anyways I am gonna get into this and I'm going to take one more swig of that, finish that off, and then I'll have a juice with my dinner. So, it's alright. It's, uh, you know, not a gourmet meal by any means, but it's, uh, it's what I got to do to, uh, I guess, uh, lose some friggin' weight. Because, uh, yeah. But, uh, anyways, I was kind of thinking about this a little bit, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to make this... Uh, kind of like a daily vlog. If I do, it'll be like uh, Monday to Friday sort of thing. So tomorrow's Friday. 
which means I probably won't do anything tomorrow. I just won't have time. Um, but uh, maybe starting on Monday again and just keep it kind of updating every day and uh, show you the kind of meals that I can kind of think think up and whip together really quick that are uh, not so bad for you. So, uh, or at least that taste good anyways, that, you know, that aren't bad for you and kind of taste okay, but anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Cheers and vapes and rye and peach juice and fucking orange juice and uh, whatever. <laughs>